Hello everyone, this is Annette. Welcome to my scrapbooking corner. I have the, what is this month? August 2011 Club Scrap Kit. Uh, layouts 5 and 6. And this is what I did. Okay, so in the uh, scrap wrap, I have, oh let me show you real quick before I go on any further. This is the layout, alright, that I am using. Anyway, other than mine are 8.5 by 11 versus 12 by 12, so I had to change it just ever so slightly. Anyway, this piece of paper, oh, let's see if I can find this. tell you how you can change the look and one of them is to take an ink pad which I took this blue alright and I just took it and just rubbed it all over this piece and then took a paper towel and then wiped wiped it back off and then this is what you end up with. All right, it resists the glossy areas, the embossed areas, resists the ink. All right, and then I'm using this background. All right, and then that goes like so. I just do with my And then this is a cut apart. Alright, and I used this is like a little I was already adhered. Oh, let me see. And where's my big that? Oh there it is, it's hiding behind this one. And what I used was one of these, but it was much smaller, obviously. And then I used this ribbon that come with the club scrap or with the kit. And I think that is pretty much all I did. Alright. And then this goes here and here. And then this is handmade paper, so it actually cuts does not cut very well with the trimmer whatsoever. But this is going to go down here. So it's gonna go like that. Alright. Go ATG, which the looks of it is going to need to be refilled soon. Since this piece was cut down, I was able to use the full length of the hope uh, that's eight and a half on the second page, which is how it was done on the on the uh, sketch that I used. All right, and everything's inked using Tim Holtz. Oh. 
photo. What is it? Vintage photo. Alright, and then this. for student loan makes me think I'm trying to find um, like a customer service type job that I can do from home as a second job and I could do it full time over the summer since I'm a teacher I got summers off to where I can pay off my I'm gonna get my oh, there, oh man it just ripped my paper I can't tell I don't think I can use liquid adhesive I'm gonna have to change my ATG quick you what I was going to tell you while I do something. Anyway, I was looking at getting a job I can do from home where I could set my own hours and I could work a few hours every evening while I'm sitting there watching TV or, or work a few hours. Anyway, but so I can make some extra money. So because I want to get my student loans paid off on my credit card. I don't want to be paid off in 2017, but I don't want to wait till then. I want to pay it off now. In between my credit card and my student loan, that would save me $600 a month. Two fifty in my student loan because I got really good credit, so it's my interest is really low. I'm just sick and tired of paying on it for almost ten years. Almost ten, two thousand. Yeah, it'll be ten years. Two thousand seven is when I graduated and. I did ink the edges of it. It was not easy. Not easy at all. Okay, so that will work. So that is page, the first page. And here's what I'm doing with the second page. Alright, so <clears throat> this was a pop out. As with this, and I cut this is two, let me check, 
two by two, two inch by two inch square. It comes with one this color, but it had a crown on the back of it. And so I didn't want to use waste a good embellishment. So I could use this piece that has a crown on the river side um, somewhere else. So I just measured it and it was two by two. So I just cut the same color cardstock with that. Anyway, so this was a cut apart. This was from the 12 by 12 page from the first page and the piece that I cut from there. This was at the bottom. And I did the same resist on it with two handmade papers. And then here I'm I tried stamping on here and it did not ink. I tried to stamp over it a second time, lining it up, and I can never line them up. I don't know how people do that, but I don't care clear or not, I it always comes out off a little bit and I notice it maybe someone else won't notice it but I do all right so these go like so all right So this fits inside of here. So let me do this first. He said I'm on each side. It's gonna go here at the top. And then this gets adhered here with this inside. I think I'm just gonna adhere that flat. I'm going to use my liquid adhesive for this. Because that would be easier to manipulate. Or I could just not put adhesive in there. And then I the stamp and then the hope the stamp hope stamp is is uh 
Uh, we'll show you it come from the unlovable stamp that come with the kit. I'm sorry if you hear my stomach. <laughs> this with the kit. Alright. Uh oh. There it is. Okay. I was gonna tear this flat too. This one had a one that was landscape and one portrait. Tried it overlaps. All right, and then that would be the second page. And that's all I have done for filming. I don't have that one started or even thought of. Anyway, so this is layout five and six. All right, so this is five and six of the August 2011 Club Scrap Kit. All right, and so thank you for watching, and I will be back when I have another one ready. Bye.